Dan considered others' needs often before his own, volunteering at his local food bank and giving out treats for Halloween while he did not have food for himself at home. According to Wilma, whom he volunteered with, his continued refusal to take food home was a matter of pride. TV, The Halloween Apocalypse, Liverpool was central to Dan's identity. He knew much about the city, and felt strongly about its rivalry with Leeds. He even distrusted Yasmin Khan, at least in jest, for her association with Sheffield, which was too close to Leeds. TV, The Halloween Apocalypse, he had a similar reaction, when he found out that he arrived in Manchester. TV, Eve of the Daleks. When faced with the unknown, Dan tended towards quick, rational conclusions, and had no trouble asserting his reality. He reasoned that an adult trick-or-treater should not be given candy, that Carvanista must have been play-acting in costume, and should leave his home, and later, when faced with the reality of Carvanista's spaceship, that he must have captured Dan in particular for a reason. TV, The Halloween Apocalypse. Nonetheless, he remained open to new possibilities, and adapted quickly, even joking that he had a friend with a TARDIS which was even, bigger, moments into first encountering dimensional transcendentalism. TV, The Halloween Apocalypse. Dan owned a wild sense of humor. He wisecracked while decoying a Dalek executioner. TV, Eve of the Daleks.